When you have a new engine, it has a certain wear-in period where it will make a little bit of metal. And what you'll see for a long engine life in an internal combustion engine is you drive it a thousand miles during the break-in period and then you change the motor oil and then you change it every 3,000 miles thereafter. And of course everyone religiously does that. I think I've had cars that went 100,000 miles between oil changes. I'm not real good about that. But if you want your engine to last a long time, the number one thing you can do is to change the oil filter and the oil and flush the system out when you do the oil change. And that is to remove any metal particulates. There's kind of a downward spiral as the engine wears. It produces a very small, oh, uh, even down 5 to 20 micron metal particles. And of course, those get in the gears and the moving parts because they're so small, but then they act as an abrasive. Picture pumice or very fine sand but these are made out of metal that then increase the wear in the engines and you quickly erode the very close tolerances necessary for good compression and good operation of an internal combustion engine. The more metal particles you have, the more you create. And so it's a downward spiral. As your oil gets dirty, it increases in its abrasive characteristic and is reduced in its lubricating characteristic. And so you increase the wear on one of those exponential curves to break that that cycle, you simply change the oil. And to reduce the particulates, in the meanwhile, you pump through a filter where all the oil goes through a filter and those particulates are trapped. And so for long life, you want to be able to do that. You almost never see that in a transmission because the engine is, by comparison, so much of a high wear item.